What's up guys, Jimmy Miracle here. Welcome to my studio. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about how to study Barg plates, Barg fundamentals, drawing fundamentals, and some things that you should be doing, I think, when you study these figures that could help you in your block ends and study of anatomy, structure, etc. I've copied a load of these things to try to help myself improve, to understand. This is a quick pencil sketch. Just kidding, not quick, which is what I want to talk to you about. This thing I must have spent 20 to 30 hours on. I've done loads of these long copies, and I think that here's another one. This is in Conte, a little bit bigger. There's some experimenting with some marks. I think there is some value in doing these long labored studies like this, but honestly, I think the fundamentals are things that you can grasp in under 20 to 30 minutes. And I want to show you how you can practice that. Let me um, show you a couple of these drawings down here. Okay, so I got one more super labored copy of an arm here. Um, all right, this is very small in pencil. I would say, look at the size of my hand. So these are tiny sketches. I'm not really learning anything about anatomy or necessarily structure when I'm doing these. These are more perceptual exercises and I wanna show you how you can learn kind of the essence of the figure construction, which I have been going in a roundabout way uh, in my student years. And now that I'm a little bit more experienced, I wanna show you what you can do to study Here's a simple block end. This is a block end sketch that I did. I, I actually had it uh, minimized or, or uh, shrunk down a little bit. So this is tiny. That's a little pencil block end sketch that I did. And those are good to try to work out your perceptual skills and try to find angles, repetition, stuff like that. And just kind of hone your fineness of accuracy. But there are more fundamental things. And okay, so I've got a whole book printed of every single bar block, block in, and I laminated them. I do quick sketches of these. I have my students do quick sketches of these in order to learn some fundamental skills, which I'm about to show you. And for example, in this one here, I did some quick sketches. Box logic. So you may be doing copies of this and then do a copy like this and go, okay, yeah, I got, I got a really good drawing, but you don't even understand the box logic of how the big planes are moving in space which you have to use your imagination, knowledge of primitive forms, which is very basic, but you are, for example, in this one, the entire plane of this front part of the rib cage, I'm imagining as a block here, facing upwards in space that away. And then the pelvis facing downward, the tilt this way, versus the tilt that way. Imagining big planes that, unless you're thinking of this as a three-dimensional structure with simple primitive forms, doing a, a 2D copy of this is not gonna get you any better in your knowledge of structure and basic figure drawing. So there's a lot of pitfalls that people fall into. They're like, oh, I'm gonna copy bars and get way better at drawing and just rifle through the whole book. I'm gonna do a hundred copies. And I used to think a little bit like that, but honestly, just use your head. Box logic. I would say do box logic drawovers of everything. Here is, uh, just go through these plates. Imagine each unit as a simple block. And then 
Bitcoin box logified it. Box logic fi it. Whatever that means to you. Luca Cambiasso, look him up. Great Renaissance master. Michelangelo, Leonardo, you all know these Renaissance names. This is how they thought in the beginning of the simple figure. All right, here's another thing you can do. And that is even simpler, mannequinize. This might even be backwards because I have the camera flipped around. So mannequinizing is basically thinking that like box logic, but as almost a simple cartoon. Can you get the essence? I didn't even draw the plate here and the uh, background. Can you get the essence of this a whole figure as a simple? This is actually thinking not in terms of box logic, but more in eggs. And then the pelvis I thought of as like a little tapering cone. The legs and arms are literal just balls with wires connected to them. If you were to start a sculpture, your sculpture would look kind of something like this at the very beginning. The purple. You have the main gesture going from the pit of the neck to the symphysis pubis. This main arc here describes the gesture of the whole figure, reversing the curve here in the face. Face tilting down that way. Again, rib cage coming out in space that way. This coming out in space that way. Tilts are there. Finding the relationship of the medial malleolus to the pit of the neck. Where is that in relationship to the top of the head? How's the top of the head tilting over? What's the big uh, great trochanter doing in relationship to the medial malleolus? If you're just doing a 2D copy of this and then your drawing looks something like this at the end and you show your friends and you think you're doing a good job and your atelier or academy that you're studying at thinks that pats you on the back and says, hey, great, keep, keep up the good work, but you don't understand how to mannequinize, you don't understand basic box logic, and then you can't even draw this from memory, I would suggest you change your course of study a bit. You need to understand this box logic, which is pretty simple, and then you can draw this whole pose from memory, and you can interpret what the contours mean. In addition, skeletonize. Do anatomy draw overs of these figures and try to find out where the structure of the rib cage, pelvis, great trochanter, main skeletal landmarks are. And I didn't do another sketch. On top of skeletonizing, you can add the musculature. So then you actually figure out what these bumps and grooves mean. You're not just copying angles, and I think in the end you're gonna hit a dead, dead end road. Unless you start incorporating your brain and start using some of these concepts of thinking about structure, anatomy, and uh, just basic fundamental concepts to make this not just a flat 2D copy. So, hope this video helps you. I'm gonna keep updating some more and give you some more advice on how to study as an art student, improve your skills in realism, and improve your skills in composition, and overall just your general thinking as an artist, your pathway to learning. And uh, I know that there's a lot of voices and a lot of people out there. I've been on a long road. I have walked a lot of these paths that I wanna help share with you how you can improve and not fall in the same pitfalls that I have. And I see a lot of instructors out there who are not giving a great picture of the overall study. And I want to help you as an artist, art student, uh, improve in ways that are more holistic. So thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped you and I'll see you next time.